the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dogs. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. You were born amidst the Dalish elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. The Dalish traveled the land in tightly knit clans struggling to maintain their half-forgotten law in a human world that fears and despises them. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests, and as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. It's a Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? You're just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. We aren't bandits, I swear! Please don't hurt us! You Shemlin are pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. We've never done nothing to you, Dalish! We didn't even know this forest was yours! This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You Shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethalon? What should we do with them? Does it matter? Hunting or banditry, we'll need to move camp if we let them live. L look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a cave. With ruins like I've never seen. We thought there might be, uh... Treasure? So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits.
So would I. I've never heard of ruins in these parts. But I, uh, I have proof. Here, we found this just inside the entrance. The stone has carvings. Is this elvish? Written elvish? There's, there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. A trap? Oh, we didn't even know you elves were here. We, we were just trying to find the treasure. And this is all you found? Why didn't you look for more? There was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the Maker we were able to outrun it. <sighs> a demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? No! No, wait! You, you can't do this! Well, shall we see if there's any truth to this story? These carvings make me curious. She might be interested in these carvings, but let's see if there's anything more before we get excited. Besides, we're already here. Now, they said it was to the west. This must be the cave. I don't recall seeing this before, do you? Always the careful one. Fine. But I'm not running back until I know there's something worth making a fuss over. Come on, let's at least see what's there. How dangerous could it be? Looks like the Shem was telling the truth. But these ruins look more human than elven. I can't believe 
believe this. You recognize this statue, don't you? Back when our people lived in our Arlathan, statues like these honored the creators. When the Shems enslaved us, much of that lore was lost. This looks like human architecture, with the statue of our people. Can these ruins date back to the time of Arlathan? I'd never have guessed ancient elves might have lived here, with humans. I shall do it. Are those walking corpses? On, Lethalon. By the creators! What. what was that thing? It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the writing says. It sat here for who knows how many centuries? What could be so dangerous? Don't worry, I won't break it. I wonder what this writing is for. Maybe this isn't... Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. Hold on, I just want to know what it is. Did you see it? There it is again! Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. I just need to take a closer look. It's showing me places. I can see some kind of city. Underground, and there's a great blackness. It saw me. Help! I can't look away. Awake! You've the god's own luck, Lethalon. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? Ashem brought you back two days ago. You don't remember him? He was a Grey Warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest. Unconscious and alone. He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. Of course. Most of the Hunters are off looking for him right now. But the Keeper wanted to talk to you as soon as you awoke. Stay here. I'll get her. I see you are awake, Dalan. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. Yes, he introduced himself as a Grey Warden. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? No. He was more concerned about helping you. Why he thought they were Darkspawn, I don't know. But Grey Wardens know more about them than anyone. Walking corpses? Dark magic, but not Darkspawn. I know not what the other creatures might have been. What else did you find? 
What is the last thing you remember? A mirror. And it caused all this? I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke, but there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn, but we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves, and quickly. Do you feel well enough to show us the way, darling? Without you, we will not find it. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find Tamlen if you can, but do it swiftly. I would be lying if I said I was not. But whatever knowledge lies in that cave is not worth our children. I send you back with hopes of finding Tamlin, and that is all. Go up in these parts soon. We must get away from that horde. But that is not our only concern. Did you encounter any other humans out in the forest? So I feared. You have stirred up a hornet's nest, Dalen. Their village blames us for your actions. As everywhere, our people are not welcome here. We have stayed too long, and we must move on, quickly. Our clan could slaughter their entire village if we cared to, but at the cost of bringing their king's rage down on our heads. These people are simple and have simple fears. This is their land, so we will go peacefully. Go quickly, for Tamlin's life hangs in the balance.